Hey guys, Chris here again. So I wanted to do the tension barrel video, which I'm still going to do, but unfortunately Utah Air Guns uses FedEx and FedEx can't seem to stop screwing up. Um, so that's the reason I don't have all the stuff for that yet. But I did get in <clears throat> my Huma Air Regulator and also my dual port transfer valves which I got one for each caliber. I was gonna show you the 30 caliber, which I still will when it comes in, but the 25 caliber I got, and that does not have the part that disconnects that needs to disconnect. So I ordered some additional parts from Huma as well. <clears throat> so I have all those, and then the, uh, the pin probe, the slug pin probe for the 30 caliber, and also the carbon fiber sleeve. So as you see me take this apart, you'll see I have all that stuff done to this already. <clears throat> this is in 22 right now. So I'm gonna show you how I did the tension barrel in the next video. Right now, I'm gonna do the regulator. So as I said to you previously, I will have a power driver ready to do all this so that you're not waiting for me for hours to turn an Allen wrench. So this should go rather quick. And uh, just so you know, I'll show you real quick the tools that I have ready um, in case you're actually considering doing this. Um, and I, I prefer the Vortec Viper scope. I actually have the Arcanoptic EP5 and that's my second favorite, but the, 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 the uh, Vortec is, is my favorite. Um, so <clears throat> this, is the, this is the gun, this is the tools that I have these little picks out and tweezers and then obviously the, the you know the power driver and this is torque settable and then all the seismetric um allen keys for it and then these are for removing o-rings the the blunt tools and then manual allen keys and tweezer pliers and some loctite uh silicone oil and then that's um high pressure thread sealant which i actually bought at tractor supply it's made for it's made for um, like hydraulic lines because they're 3,500, 4,000 PSI. Um, so they, it works perfect for this. Um, and then these two on the side of the Sabre tactical rail before I take the, uh, before I take the barrel out, these two are four millimeter. Okay. And then uh, there's another four millimeter right here. And then, oh, it's going to reach that. So I might have to do a couple manual. There's four millimeter here. And then I'm sure everybody who has an impact knows mostly everything else is two and a half millimeter. So I'm going to start by finishing the top rail. and then I'm going to finish taking off the barrel so as you can see this is another tension point this clamp here so this is tension to the shroud I'll show you that in the other video I don't want to go too in depth into it because I'm trying to show you the regulator which is actually the first time I've done this regulator so <clears throat> I'm making a video for you as I'm doing it the first time. Uh, I do have a lot of experience with the gun, but the regulator, it's my first time. So forgive me if I'm not perfect, but uh, I did do my research, so hopefully it won't be too bad. So these two are three millimeters, and then you have another three millimeter set screw back here. So it's tensioned back here with this three millimeter set screw. It's tensioned with those two three millimeters. It's tensioned again with the Sabre tactical rail, and then Everything is pushed together from the outside, and I'll show you how to do that in the next tensioning video, <clears throat> which will be coming shortly. All right, let's get that out really easy now. There we go. Here's the barrel. All right, now I'm going to take the AccuTech off. I already depressurized the gun, obviously. Uh, take off your tank, loosen up the back regulator. Oh, also I'm gonna be uh, installing the angled manometer bra um, bracket for the side. 
so that I can see the manometer while I'm while I'm shooting as far as the uh, the, the firing pressure. So uh, that's that's uh, an upgrade I probably should have done right away because I've done a lot of others as you'll see when I get into this gun. Uh, there's it's got the tungsten hammer. It's got the the heavier springs, the heavier spring and lighter spring for the for the firing pin and return, and then uh, or hammer and return rather. Um, and it's got the um, it's got a, a lot of modifications, and obviously I'm doing a bit of lot more, so um, it's it's going to be a pretty heavily modified gun if it wasn't already. Um, and then we're going to flip this over. We have to take the trigger out. <clears throat> So I believe these are actually two millimeter. And then there's a small pin after I take these two out that releases the trigger. So take these out. And the tweezer pliers really do come in tremendously handy to grab screws or for so many other things, they come in tremendously handy. Or for pulling this pin. There's the pin, and there's the trigger assembly. All right, so put that to the side. All right, so now, <clears throat> and I wanted to do this anyway, but another reason I did it is because my my um, adjustment screw is stripped. So I have a fancy triangle bit in one of my precision screwdrivers, like this right here, that if you strip yours, hopefully it'll work for you. Okay, so this worked for me so far. Luckily, I'm not going to be using that anymore. Right, so just enough to get it with the pliers, otherwise I would have had to use a reversing tool. It was that bad. Because they did not put it in an easy location to adjust. But the Huma regulator, which is right here has a bigger flathead and a smaller flathead this should be much easier to adjust and i have already put the the rings uh the i'm sorry the um the spring washers i've already put those in place on an allen wrench to slide over the piston but i'll show that to you before before i do so you can see in the manual and see how to actually do it the adjustment screw put that off to the side and then this comes out with I believe it was like a five millimeter yes it's a five millimeter <clears throat> And as, as the gun was, without making any adjustments, I was at about 1,000 to 1,007 feet per second uh, with 22. And I'm gonna see how I can how far I can get. Uh, oh, the piston came out right with it, that was easy. So here's the old regulator and piston. And let's see if I got that washer, that uh, little grommet in there that makes the seal. That's still in there, so I'm gonna have to get that out. So I'm gonna put it in the exact same way. So I have some silicone grease as well as the silicone oil. So I'm gonna show you the rest of it. 
so there's one of these little white um, these little white things that need to go in underneath it <clears throat> and then here's your piston and then here's the rings and I'll show you in the manual how they have to be set up I got the ultra high pressure one and then this is gonna be your adjustment screw on that now and then this is where the piston will sit with these on it in the proper direction, which would be like this into here. So when I take the piston, I'm gonna slide these. They're already in the right order on this Allen wrench. I'm gonna slide them onto this. 